that. We are all fascinated with legends and myths from different cultures. Exus not. Especially large and scary beasts we have been reading about for years. as we look at 20 incredible creatures that will give you goosebumps. 20. Kraken Fossils have been found that suggest the mythical sea monster known as the Kraken may have once roamed the seas preying on whale-sized animals. Ichthyosaurs were razor-toothed marine reptiles larger than school buses believed to have dominated the oceans of the Triassic period. But paleontologist Mark McMenamin has questioned this titan of the deep's title, with evidence that suggests the mighty ichthyosaurs may have been prey for a much larger creature of mythic proportions, the Kraken. If you are imaging a Godzilla-like reptile and shouting, release the Kraken, you have the wrong idea. The proposed Triassic Kraken, which could have been the most intelligent invertebrate ever, arranged the vertebral discs in double line patterns. An octopus killing larger ocean predators is not unheard of. One in the Seattle Aquarium was caught killing a shark on camera by wrapping its body around the shark and overpowering it. Among the evidence of the Kraken attacks are many more ribs broken in the Shonosaur fossils than would seem accidental and the twisted necks of the Ichthyosaurs. 19. Leviathan The biggest prehistoric whale that ever lived, and a pound-for-pound -pound match for the giant shark Megalodon, Leviathan did its biblical namesake proud. Extrapolating from its 10-foot-long skull, paleontologists believe that Leviathan measured upwards of 50 feet from head to tail and weighed as much as 50 tons, about the same size as a modern sperm whale. This made Leviathan by far the largest predatory whale of the Miocene epoch, about 13 million years ago. While it's dubious that these two apex predators would have deliberately targeted one another, they may well have butted heads in the pursuit of the same prey. If you think T-Rex was equipped with some impressive choppers, Leviathan possessed the longest teeth, excluding tusks of any animal living or dead. Because of a lack of fossil evidence, we don't know precisely how long Leviathan persisted after the Miocene epoch. 18. Phoenix Phoenixes are eternal birds that regenerate or are reborn on a cyclical basis. While it is part of Greek mythology, it has parallels in numerous cultures, including Egyptian and Persian. A phoenix associated with the sun is reborn from its predecessor's ashes. Some traditions suggest it dies in a burst of flames and combustion, while others say it just dies and decomposes before rebirth. 17. Cerberus Cerberus is a popular creature in ancient mythology. Hades' loyal guard dog, Cerberus, was a massive hound with three heads that guarded the entrance to the underworld. Cerberus has been featured in many movies about Greek mythology. It was said that the beast only had an appetite for living flesh. It is said that the three heads were meant to symbolize the past, present, and future. Heracles must enter the underworld, wrestle the beast using no weapons, and then bring Cerberus to the surface world, alive, to present to the Mycenaean king Eurystheus. Heracles tackles the beast, then using his great strength, throws the animal over his shoulder and drags him to the mortal world. 16. Griffin A griffin is a mythical monster with the head and wings of an eagle and the body, tail, and hind legs of a lion. The griffin was regarded as a powerful and majestic monster, much as the eagle was the lord of the birds and the lion was the king of the beasts. During the Persian Empire, the griffin was seen as a protection against evil, witchcraft, and defamation. 15. Kitsune In Japanese tradition, Kitsune are foxes with paranormal abilities that become stronger as they age. According to tradition, Kitsune foxes may be witch people and, like Tanuki, have the capacity to shapeshift into human or other forms, as well as trick or fool humans. While some folk tales have Kitsune using their skill to mislead others, as foxes frequently do, others depict them as loyal protectors, friends, and lovers. 14. Cthulhu H.P. Lovecraft developed the cosmic creature known as Cthulhu. It was first mentioned in his short story, The Call of Cthulhu, in 1928. This entity, considered a great old one in the pantheon of Lovecraftian cosmic forces, has appeared in a number of popular culture illusions. Lovecraft sees it as a massive monster adored by cultists, resembling a green octopus, dragon, and a parody of the human form. The Cthulhu Mythos, a Lovecraft-inspired realm in which it dwells among other entities, is named after it. 13. Chimera The Chimera was a ferocious, fire-breathing monstrosity that possessed the body and head of a lion 
with the head of a goat protruding from its back and a snake for a tail. Talk about an eclectic assortment of beasts on the same body. The brief description of the chimera in the text of the Iliad is the earliest surviving record of the creature. The chimera is traditionally considered to have been a female and was said to have given birth to the sphinx and the Nemean lion. The monster was feared and believed to have been an omen for storms, shipwrecks, and other natural disasters. The chimera is best known for its role in the legend of Bellerophon, a hero born to the city of Corinth, Bellerophon would be ordered by King Lobates of Lycia to slay the monster to atone for his past sins. Bellerophon, knowing he would need help for such a task, prayed and then slept in the temple of Athena. Upon waking, he saw the goddess before him, leading the mythical horse Pegasus, who possessed the ability of flight. With Pegasus saddled, Bellerophon flew to the lair of the chimera in Lycia. Knowing that the creature was ferocious and would not easily be defeated, Bellerophon devised a plan. He attached a sizable chunk of lead to the end of his spear. Riding Pegasus, he flew towards the monster. Just as the chimera opened its mouth to scorch the hero with fire, Bellerophon drove the lead into the creature's mouth. The fiery breath of the chimera melted melted the lead and caused the creature to suffocate and die. 12. Ningen Crew members of government-operated whale research ships have reported seeing these so-called Ningens on many occasions. They are supposed to be totally white in appearance and measure between 20 and 30 meters in length. Eyewitnesses describe them as having human-like proportions, including legs, arms, and even five-fingered hands. They are sometimes described as having fins or a huge mermaid tail rather than legs. The eyes and lips are the only obvious face characteristics. According to one report, crew members on deck saw what they first thought was a foreign submarine in the distance. When they neared, the irregular shape of the object revealed it was not man-made, but rather alive. The thing swiftly vanished beneath the water. As amazing as it sounds, the existence of the Ningjins is considered an urban legend. In our thumbnail, we can see a large creature which, in my mind, could be the Yeti as it walks across the frozen tundra. 11. Minotaur A grotesque abomination that possessed the body of a man and the head of a bull, the Minotaur is best remembered for his affinity for devouring flesh and his cryptic home, deep within the confines of the Twisted Labyrinth. The labyrinth was an impossible maze constructed by the inventor Daedalus. It was said to have been located under the palace of Knossos, the home of King Minos of Crete. The story goes that King Minos, the ruler of Crete, lost his son Androgeus when the boy was murdered in Athens. Accounts vary, but one version tells that the prince was murdered because the Athenians were jealous of his many victories at the recent Panathenaic Games in Athens. King Minos would subsequently wage war on the Athenians, eventually finding victory. As penance for the murder of Androgeus, every year the Athenians were forced to send seven young men and seven maidens to the island of Crete, where they would be released into the labyrinth and systematically hunted and devoured by the Minotaur. It is at this time that Theseus, the hero of Athens, volunteered to be sent to Crete as a sacrifice to the monster. Upon arriving, Theseus is aided by Ariadne, the daughter of King Minos. Before the Athenians can be trapped within the labyrinth, Ariadne releases Theseus from his holding cell and brings him to the entrance of the Great Maze. Theseus navigates the labyrinth and discovers the Minotaur sleeping in the center of the vast dungeon. The brilliance behind Theseus's plan was a ball of thread. Once you entered the labyrinth, there was no way of finding your way out, but Theseus unrolled the ball of thread as he penetrated the depths of the maze until he found the Minotaur. Theseus used the element of surprise and attacked the Minotaur when he was least expecting it, and the monster was killed with ease. The hero and the other Athenians, along with Princess Ariadne, escaped Minos's palace and made a hasty retreat to Athens under the cover of night. 10. Sphinx A sphinx is a legendary creature that has a lion's body and a human head. According to Greek mythology, it possesses lion-like haunches, sometimes with wings of a large bird and a human face. It is portrayed as treacherous and ruthless. Those who cannot solve its riddle incur the destiny common to such mythological stories. They are slain and eaten by this insatiable monster. This lethal version of the sphinx appears in Oedipus's myth and theater. Unlike the Greek sphinx, which was a lady, the Egyptian sphinx is usually depicted as a male. Furthermore, the Egyptian sphinx was considered as friendly, yet with fearsome ferocity comparable to the malicious Greek version, and both were thought of as a guardian often flanking the entrances to temple. 9. Unicorn Tens of thousands of years ago, unicorns did in fact exist. They were just more hideous than you would ever imagine. In real life, the Siberian unicorn looked more like a hairy giant rhino than a Lisa Frank horse. It fed its six and a half foot, four ton frame by eating lots of grass. The discovery of real unicorns is not new, but according to a new study, they roamed the earth more recently than previously thought. Researchers from Russia's Tomsk State University found a Siberian unicorn skull in Kazakhstan and dated it to around 29,000 years ago, disproving the original theory that the species went extinct 350,000 years ago. 
8. Yeti Whether you call them yetis or abominable snowmen, these ape-like creatures are the undisputed monarchs of snow-dwelling cryptids. The yeti, like the North American Bigfoot, is claimed to be a solitary monster who roams the Himalayas' frigid highlands. While largely regarded as part of Sherpa folklore, mountaineers in the region have reported numerous sightings over the last two centuries, fueling arguments on whether the elusive creature exists. When Westerners began exploring the Himalayan highlands in the early 20th century, tales of claimed Yeti sightings skyrocketed. These sightings peaked in the 1950s, when one of the most infamous pieces of Yeti evidence was recovered from Mount Everest's barren glaciers. An expedition discovered an unusual pattern of bizarre footprints. Because the mountaineers lacked the necessary tools Tools to measure the imprints, they made do with an ice pick, a rucksack, and a left boot. According to one member of the expedition, in a photo of the boot next to one footprint, the impression was about double the width of an average human foot. The footprint's toes were grotesquely shaped, with the big toe seeming lower and larger than expected for a human. And even if it was human, how did it manage to walk through the snow in freezing temperatures without any foot protection? Puzzled, they followed the footsteps down the glacier for nearly a mile before stopping to set up camp for the night. When the expedition team returned to Britain, the unusual images began to circulate. It was an exciting period for crypto zoologists, monster hunters, and mountaineers, because many saw the images as confirmation that the mythical yeti roamed the Himalayas. 7. Cyclops Probably one of the most popular monsters in Greek mythology, and one of my favorites, the Cyclops were primordial giants that were said to have been born from Gaia, the Earth. They were said to possess great strength and ferocity, with one bulging eye protruding from their forehead. At least the eye doctor was cheap, and instead of buying expensive designer glasses, all that was needed was a quality magnifying glass. Fearing their power, the Cyclops were thrown into the pits of Tartarus by their father Uranus. The monsters remained imprisoned when the Titan Cronus overthrew Uranus and took his place as ruler of the universe. It was only when the Olympians came to power did the Cyclops find freedom. The mighty Zeus released the monsters, who would craft thunderbolts for the young Olympian. Zeus did have a great sense of humor. The Cyclops have been featured in several adventure films since the 1960s, and they always get the attention of moviegoers when they are featured in a movie. As much as they're an unpleasant sight to look at, the anticipation of seeing a Cyclops in a movie is always exhilarating. 6. Gorgon Medusa A monstrous creature with the ability to turn to stone any person who gazed upon her face, Medusa remains a popular monster of ancient mythology, and she is featured in the Clash of the Titans movies and other films involving Greek mythological heroes. Interpretations of Medusa differ. Some accounts describe how Medusa was born to the archaic marine deity, Cedo. In this version of the tale, Medusa is born with a hideous face and a serpent's tail where her legs should be. In Ovid's Metamorphoses, Medusa was told to have once been a beautiful maiden who was transformed into a hideous monster after being raped in the temple of Athena by the sea god Poseidon. How could the people be nice when you had gods like these? The one aspect of Medusa that remains consistent through various legends is her hair, which was said to have been composed of writhing venomous snakes. Medusa is confronted by the hero Perseus, who was bayed by his stepfather to retrieve the head of the monster. Using a mirrored shield that was given to him by Athena, Perseus viewed Medusa's reflection so as not to look directly at the monster. As Medusa approaches Perseus, she is not aware that he's hiding to her side, and Perseus slays Medusa and chops her head off. From the neck of the dying Gorgon sprang the winged horse Pegasus. Perseus would use the head of Medusa as a weapon against enemies, until he eventually presented it to Athena, who attached it to the front of her shield. In the movie Clash of the Titans, Perseus is seen using the Gorgon to transform the Kraken to stone. 5. Vampire A vampire is a creature from folklore that subsists by feeding on the vital essence generally in the form of blood of the living. In European folklore, vampires are undead creatures that often visited loved ones and caused mischief or deaths in the neighborhoods they inhabited while they were alive. They wore shrouds and were often described as bloated and of ruddy or dark countenance. Early folk belief in vampires has sometimes been ascribed to the ignorance of the body's process of decomposition after death, and how people in pre-industrial societies try to rationalize this, creating the figure of the vampire to explain the mysteries of death. The charismatic and sophisticated vampire of modern fiction was born in 1819 with the publication of The Vampire by the English writer John Polidori. The story was highly successful and arguably the most influential vampire work of the early 19th century. The vampire has since become a dominant figure in the horror genre. 4. Kappa A kappa is a reptiloid kami that resembles yokai from Japanese folklore. They are usually portrayed as green, human-like creatures with webbed hands and feet and turtle-like carapaces on their backs. A dip on its head, known as its dish, holds water, and if this is damaged or its liquid is lost, the kappa is badly debilitated. 
3. Thunderbird The Thunderbird is a mythological monster in numerous native histories and civilizations that surround Godville. According to some native histories and traditions, the Thunderbird rules the above world. The Thunderbird generates not only thunder, but also lightning bolts, which it directs upon the denizens of the underworld. Another native mythology describes a large mountain that floats in the western sky and is home to Thunderbirds. They manage the rain and hail and enjoy battling and heroic exploits. 2. Mermaid A mermaid is a mythical aquatic creature with a female human head, an upper body, and a fish tail. Mermaids exist in folklore from various cultures around the world, including Europe, Asia, and Africa. Mermaids are occasionally associated with dangerous events such as floods, storms, shipwrecks, and drownings. Mermaids have been a popular theme in art and literature in recent decades, as seen in Hans Christian Andersen's literary fairy tale, 1. Banshee A banshee is a female spirit from Irish folklore who announces the death of a family member by screaming, weeping, shrieking, or keening. She may be clad in white, with red hair and a dreadful appearance. Sometimes the banshee takes the shape of a sweet singing virgin from a family who died young. She may also be seen at night as a shrouded woman crouched beneath the trees, lamenting with a veiled face, or flying past in the moonlight, crying bitterly. Whether you believe in these legends or not is not important. They are all magical and mysterious, which makes them fascinating. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.